Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a short tutorial to teach you how to do web scraping on Google Images. It seems like a very simple problem. So you just need to get the URL for the image over here and just download it into your folder. It seems like a simple problem. However, it's actually a challenging one. So just five months ago, Google actually did a radical change in their HTML structure. So there's a lot of programs like Python Google Images library doesn't work anymore. So you can see there's a lot of comments that saying that there's a lot of solution out there that's not working. Okay, so now allow me to share with you my solution. So your program must first open our browser and type in the keyword, let's say cat. So all the cat images will pop up. So now select the first image over here in the search result. And you realize that there's a pop-up over here. So instead of getting the URL from this image over here, you get it from the pop-up image. And this is a trick. So with the URL retrieved from this image, you'll be able to download it to your folder over here. Okay, so now in order to download the rest of the images over here, you just need to repeat step one to step four. However, when you reach the last image over here, the program will crash. And why is it so? Because the images below is not loaded yet. How do you resolve this problem? So the solution for this is very simple. So in your program, you must scroll down when you reach the last image. And with this, you'll be able to scrape through all the search results. Okay, so here are some of the prerequisites that you need to have before using my program. So first, you need to pip install Selenium. Next, you need to download Google Chrome and also download the web driver based on your Google Chrome version. So how to check for your Google Chrome version? It's very simple. You go to option here, settings, and click about Chrome. Then over here, you'll get your Chrome version result. For mine, it's 84. So next, Go to this link over here and download your Chrome version. So let's say mine is 84. So for myself, I'm using Windows, so I download this. And if you're using the rest, like Linux or Mac, download it accordingly. So after which, go to my GitHub repository over here. Then download the source code. So after downloading the source code, if you open up the file, you'll get this, this thing over here. So under this folder, web driver, do remember to replace it to the one that you have downloaded accordingly. Okay, so for mine, it'll be for Windows version 84. So for your case, please replace it accordingly. Okay, so after you have done everything, open up the main.py program over here. Yeah, so for this, do not touch this sentence. You can change your image uh, path directory. So for myself, I will store all the image into the photos folder. You can change it to any directory that you want. And my search key phrase will be cat. You can change it to dog, cars, apple, orange, and so on and so forth. Then here, you specify the number of images that you want to scrape. So it can be 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. It's up to you. So for for demonstration purpose, I will do 10. So after having all these things pre-configured, just click the start button and you see the Google Chrome browser appearing in front of you. So the algorithm is very simple. You will go to search cat and you will select the first image first. So after selecting the first image, you will do a a small scroll down yeah, so that the image below will load and you will select the next image and do a scroll down again and select the next image so after the whole process is done the Chrome browser will close so now if you look back to your directory you go to photos you'll be able to see all the images over here so if you still remember, I specified that I want 10 images, but if you count properly, you only have 8 images over here. So what happened to the, the rest of it? 
So my program will only download images that have JPEG extension and PNG extension. So if any images doesn't fulfill this, it will not be downloaded. So with this, I've come to the end of my tutorial. Thank you for your time. So remember to subscribe to my channel if you appreciate my content. Thank you for your time.